see we arrange this lens the lens that we are going to use to find the focal length I just place this lens in order to focus on a distant object and I mean an object which is at infinity I mean far and that image the image of the university building you can see that image in this paper is it so that image is reproduced I mean that real image of the building is now in my paper you can see that the distance between the paper I mean the screen I mean the screen and to the lens is 10 centimeter you can see in the screen it is 10 centimeter that means that means the focal length of this lens from the distant object method is 10 centimeter so so what I can show you see when I remove this it is out of focus when I bring this to exactly the distance between the screen and the system we are getting a, a clear image on the screen so thus we in we calculate or we measured the focal length of the this uh, focal length of this lens using distance object method that's all so the focal length from the distant object method is 10 centimeter yeah this is the trial one uh, what i did i'm keeping the object at a distance of two times expected focal length i mean we know that the focal length of this from the distance object method is approximately 10 centimeter that means we know that uh, in order to do the first trial i am keeping the object at a distance which is more than two times its focal length that means more than 20 centimeter so and i did it and i am getting a very clear image of the i am getting a clean image by adjusting these positions of the object and image distance and what i did is look here this is setup i have a setup and there is an object which is illuminated by this bulb and i place a convex lens at a distance which is exactly equal to it is you see the object i placed at the 20 in my meet in this bench i mean see the lens where i kept you can see that it is exactly at 45 if it is 45 means 20 to 45 there is a 25 distance centimeter right so the object distance is 25 centimeter now you see i'm getting an image and it is an inverted image and it's a diminished image little small in size and this is the very clear image that i can produce actually if i move a little further the image is going to be blurred and if i bring it closer and closer the image is going to be clear and at one point you can see this is the the best image the best image you see the picture the best image the the best focused image i am getting and if i move further it will be blurred so what is my plan i'm going to keep it to exactly a position where i am getting a very clear image and this is the very clear image that i have produced for this and see the displacement or the distance from the lens to the screen that means the image distance is you can see that it is 62.5 62.5 and where i kept it is at 45 from this 45 and 62.5 you can read the object sorry the image distance so right now you are getting the image distance and this is the image distance this is the lens position i i'm going to once again show you we kept it exactly at 45 and the image is exactly at 62.5 from this you can read the image distance and from this you can read the object distance right so this is the way i'm going to take another few readings that is what is our plan our plan as per the first part what i did i have kept the object at a distance which is greater than two focal length next what i am going to do i am keeping the object distance is equal to two times focal length then i am keeping the object in between one focal length and two focal length that means the object distance is between 10 and 20 centimeter and the next to the last trial what is my plan 
I'm keeping the object between, I mean, the object distance is less than focal length. Of course, we know that that time we will not get a real image. We will be producing a virtual image and we will not, we will not get a image on the screen. So these are the four trials we are going to do. And from this trial, you know the way that how, read, how we read the uh, object distance and image distance. Now what I am going to do, I will give the pictures of the other three trials and the same way you can read everything. That's all. Yeah, here you can see that the object is at the point 20 and the lens is, lens I kept at 20, uh, 40 centimeters. That means the distance between the uh, object distance is 20 and the image distance you can see here I I get a clear image at a 60 centimeter that means the distance between the object and the image is 20 centimeter and you can see the picture of the clear image there and what is the size of this image have a look the size of the image is exactly as the same size as of the uh, object so that means the magnification is 1 so this is the second reading that we have. This is the third trial. What you can see, uh, still the object is at 20 centimeter, but the lens I kept at a 35. 35 means 20 to 35, 15 centimeter. And here I can produce a very clear image. And you can see that the image is enlarged. And I get a clear image at a distance which is equal to 70 centimeter. I get an image which is exactly equal to 69.9 centimeter 69.9 centimeter and from this object from this object distance and from this image distance you can calculate the focal length so you need to calculate it this is a setup i kept the uh, object below 10 centimeter that means the object distance is below 10 centimeter that means the object is uh, between the focus and its pole so that's why we will see that we are not going to produce any image on the screen so the real image is not possible to produce so you can see that so that means that means we don't get any real image and that's all